Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, and today I'm bringing you the PGL Krakow 2017 Major Predictions Playoff Stage, or Day 2. Um, I call this Day 2 because you have to lock in all your predictions on one day. Again, that's with the Swiss system and the new way of doing the challenge. Um, I prefer the old method, but anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, for those of you that may not have been watching the Major, or maybe you didn't do the challenge, uh, you probably didn't notice that a lot of people are actually at very, very low point values right now. And this is because there were a lot of upsets and a lot of favorite teams that people had making it out that actually just flundered. They didn't even make it out. They didn't win more than one map. They went two maps. So basically, top 2% right now is 15 points which doesn't even put you at a bronze medal. Um, I mean, there's still hope for us. If we get every single one of these picks right, I think we can miss the grand final. We have to get all these other picks. We can still get a gold. Um, I know that that might be a little unrealistic, so I'd be happy with a silver here. I mean, I am only at nine points. But hey, we'll hope for the best. Let's get right into the matches. So the first quarterfinal we have is Gambit Gaming versus Fnatic. I find this very funny because in the past I believe two majors and a few other DreamHack tournaments a lot of quarterfinals and semifinals have actually been Gambit versus Fnatic I don't know if it's just seeding or coincidence that they keep getting put against each other but either way it gives us a good data pool to go off of and to make a prediction so I'm actually going to be going with Gambit here and I know that kinda goes against what the stats say but I feel like Gambit just showed that they are ready for this major. Uh, they went 3-0 in the group stage, while Fnatic barely made it out going 3-2. Um, I feel like Fnatic is never going to reach the level that they used to be when they used to crush Gambit. Uh, I feel like this time Gambit is definitely going to get their revenge. Whether it be 2-0 or 2-1, it's probably going to be close, and I feel like Fnatic could take it too, but I'm favoring Gambit 55-45. Moving on to the second quarterfinals, we have Astralis versus SK Gaming. Uh, this one is very obvious for me. I'm going to go with SK. Not only do I dislike Astralis, um, I just feel like they showed a lot, a lot of weaknesses in the group stage that SK is going to definitely exploit. Device has not been playing, I mean, to his superstar level. They gave 14 rounds versus Fnatic on Nuke, which is one of their better maps. They also lost another game in the group stage to SK, and SK destroyed them. So... I think this one's pretty simple, I think Astralis is going to choke, and SK is going to move on. Moving on to the third quarterfinals, we have Big versus Immortals. Um, I mean, I feel like both of these teams could win this game, however, I think Immortals is going to let Inferno slip through the map pool, because Immortals always bans Nuke, and therefore Big is going to have an immediate map win on Inferno. I do not see Immortals or any other team beating Big on Inferno. They have been so good, their tactics and their team play is on point, and they are ready to take this tournament. So I feel like having a one map advantage in a best of three, I feel like I'm just going to go with big here because they're going to have that advantage, they're going to have the tactics, they're going to find a way to shut down Immortals on one other map. That's all they have to do is win one of the other two maps if Inferno slips through. So therefore, big has a better chance to win the best of three. Moving on to the fourth quarterfinal, we have North versus Virtus Pro. Again, I find it funny because this is another quarterfinal, a repeat from the last major. And these guys have played each other a bunch. Um, now, I feel like this is really, really 50 50, but I'm going to give the edge to Virtus Pro because I feel like they just came out of the slump. Uh, they're going to be on home turf. They've beaten North before. Um, North is also rumored to be going under roster changes after this major, so I feel like they're just going to crumble under pressure, and Virtus Pro is going to take advantage of it. So, due to the new system, we have to pick all our, make all our choices on the same day. Uh, we can't wait for the quarterfinals to be played. We have to pick the winners of the semifinals and the grand final now. So, since I picked Gambit and SK to make it to the semifinals, I'm going to be picking SK to make it to the final. I think this one's pretty obvious why, um, you know, SK beat them at um, Tournament LA CS Summit uh, very convincingly. Um, 
I feel like Gambit could maybe take one map off SK, but definitely not two. And SK definitely wants this, and that's why I'm going with SK. Moving on to the other semifinal, we have Big versus Virtus Pro. Now, like I said, um, Virtus Pro could lose to North here. I feel like Big has a better chance of beating Immortals than Virtus Pro has of beating North. I feel like this is 60-40, the Big versus Immortals, and North versus Virtus Pro is more 55-45, if not 50-50. With that being said, I'm going to pick Big to go to the Grand Final, because if Virtus Pro loses to North, and I pick Virtus Pro to win the semifinal and the final, I will get no points if they get knocked out by North. So it would be a big chain reaction, and we'd get no points. So I don't want that to happen like it did the last major. Um, again, just Big is playing so good tactically, that I feel like Virtus Pro will just be outsmarted. I mean, Snacks is IGLing, it's kind of new, not used to it as much, I feel like they're just going to get shut down. However, Virtus Pro has a bigger talent pool if they need to dig deep and come back on a map during the Major. So again, this is 50-50, but I definitely feel like Big can pull it off. Um, again, my main reason for just picking Big is because they're playing so well. And Virtus Pro is not going to ban Inferno against them. North is not going to ban Inferno against Big. And so therefore, they're going to get an automatic map 1 advantage. They're going to win Inferno. Um, and that's just really hard to say that they're not going to win the series being one map up. So that's why I'm picking Big. And for the Grand Final, um, I think this is pretty obvious who I'm going to pick. However, I'm going to be rooting for Big. Um, SK Gaming is not my favorite team. But I definitely respect their talent and their grind. Um, but I will be going with SK Gaming to win another major. Um, I definitely think they're going to win uh, based based off how the bracket was seeded. I see the only way they're losing this major is if Astralis beats them in right here in the uh, quarterfinal. If Astralis doesn't beat them in the quarterfinal, SK is winning the whole thing. I think that's pretty obvious. Um... Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you make different picks or if you went with my picks down in the comments below. Also, uh, let's get a vote down in the comments below who you guys think is going to win the major this year. Um, it's actually pretty crazy how it's gone so far. Uh, FaZe knocked out, Cloud9 knocked out, uh, a lot of good teams, G2 even not even making the playoffs, um, just crazy. Anyways guys, um, that's it for me today. Uh, hopefully we'll get that gold pick'em trophy and uh, until next time peace